This is the 10 Minutes with Andrew podcast. What are the chances? Yeah. You're not going to like this one. Mitch you Marner. You think I like the first one? No. Okay. Mitch Marner is in the opening light, night lineup for the Toronto Maple Leafs in October. <laughs> well, that all depends on what the answer is to the first question, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's true. But um, that's true. I'm going to answer this one with my heart. Zero percent chancy. Zero percent chancy. I can take a positive out of this playoffs, and I'm a, I'm a positive guy. Always looking for the positive. <laughs> I am so happy. The rest of the world and the media and everybody realized the absolute liability that Mitch Marner is to the Toronto Maple Leafs come playoff time. And I mentioned a little earlier about a turning point in the game last night, the TSN turning point. Yeah, TSN turning point. Do you recall when Swayman went behind the net, misplayed the puck? And Marner could have and Marner, empty net. Marner had the puck. And any other player on the Leafs, especially come playoff time, would have gotten that puck behind the net, hard stop, reversed, take a hit to make a play and score a goal. Yeah. Oh, Marner sure. is not programmed that way. Any other player in the league would have done that. He picks up the puck. He continues forward, floating out front. Shot ends up on Swayman, who's already back in net and in position. Any other player in the world would yeah. have hard stopped and went around back reversed. I could have done Probably that. Probably would have been pasted by a defenseman coming back, but would have sacrificed for a scoring chance. I could have done that. Probably. Marner's not programmed that way. So if he had done that there, they're up one nothing in the second. Yeah. Potentially could have been up 2 nothing with 10 to play. Yeah. Which, with Leafs history, would have just been another yeah, disaster. I'm sure, but I'm sure it would have been. Yeah. That, to me, was the turning point in the game. Um, and then, of course, when they got the lead with 10 minutes to go and then gave it up with two minutes later, I kind of knew they were in survival mode. And it, yeah. lo- it looked like every other Game 7 in Boston they've ever been in. Yeah. Just clinging for their lives. And Anyway, so my chances are 0%. I'm speaking with my heart. My head tells me that People just believe in this kid. I don't. I never have. So 0%. Please, 0%. Yeah. um, Because you could get a lot of good players. I need you to hit the cough button for you. Oh, yeah. We need, you could get a lot of good players for what they're going to, he's going to want in salary and what he's getting now. Yeah. Right? You could get a stud defenseman. You might be able to get a marquee goaltender if there's one available. But please do not keep him around. And if he wants to stay around, He'd have to take a league minimum contract. I don't think he's going to do that. No, no. he's not going to do that for sure. Zero um, percent. Me too. Zero yeah. percent. And the reason I say it, a lot of it's the same as what you said, but I really believe there's four guys in that core four. It should be the core three. It should be the core maximum. three. Yeah. Um, Matthews isn't going anywhere. He just signed the new deal. He's the best one they have. Neil Ender just got an extension. The two you can point to are Tavares and Marner. Marner's obviously the one you point to first.